Hey everybody, good morning. I can't believe it either, but annual season is upon us. And I just want to make sure that you're preparing for your annual as much as I am. Really preparation equals maximization and we want to maximize our time together in this sacred space that we're creating in the annual. Uh, where the attention goes, so goes the energy. What kind of attention would you give to releasing a new product or a new service? You probably spend a lot of time, attention, and energy to release that new product or service. Well, that's what we're doing with the annual is we're releasing a new product or service. It's your new one-year plan, your new three-year picture, and your new rocks to your company. And so really, you want to spend some time preparing to really be in the right mindset for this, for this presentation, uh, for this annual. Uh, I think you need to be in the right mindset to grow, to, to, to become great. Um, it is sacred time together. And so you need to be prepared to be ready to work for the greater good for the growth of the company. Here's some things that we're going to do in the session. In the annual session, we're going to look back over the entire year. Don't just review the last quarter review all of the prior year. Think about the business greats that happened in that prior year, the unexpected greats. Don't wait until the morning that we're doing this check-in to plan for this. Please spend some time prior to the annual thinking about what were the, what was the personal great, the one huge big thing that happened personally for you. What about the three great things that happened in business, any unexpected greats? Be prepared to share those with us when we get into the annual session. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate the wins. Let's be excited for the progress that we've made this year. But we also have to prepare by looking at all the tools. We've got to review the, all the tools. That includes the VTO. So my question is, are you, do you still believe? Do you still believe? And if you do, that's fantastic. But if you don't, why don't you? Is there something that we need to address with the vision traction organizer and you reviewing the vision traction organizer prior to us getting into the annual session is just going to help close those cognitive synapses unconsciously subconsciously before we get into the session together. Please clean up your issues list feel free to get all the stale or old stuff that's been on there for forever move the right stuff into the current issues and the long term issues i'm fine with doing that housekeeping before we get into session and really spend some time looking at the accountability chart. That's where a lot of the issues, the root is in the accountability chart. I wanna know, does that accountability chart really define the work that you need to do to be successful in the next 12 months? Is it gonna deliver your three-year picture and your new one-year plan? Are all the key roles and measurables really producing clarity? And what about your scorecard? Remember your accountability chart and your scorecard, you can change those as much as you want to. They're yours to change and they must stay dynamic to tell you what you need to know for the greater good of the company and to grow the business. On rocks, look back over all the rocks that we set this year. Were there some trends or some themes in those rocks? Which ones were getting done? Which ones weren't getting done? How did we do? Were we setting the right rocks through the year? Look at all, it's not that many, so you can go back and review all the rocks for the year and really look for some themes, find some trends there, and let's talk about those trends. And then let's really commit this year to holding the entire leadership team radically accountable for getting those rocks done. Really hitting each other up on the milestones to make sure the milestones are happening. I'm excited about this annual. I'm excited about getting you a new one-year plan, a new three-year picture, and new rocks for, for Q3 or Q4, Q1, whatever it is that we're doing with you. But the one thing I can't do, I can't do with this session what you as a company don't want to do. Give that some thought, think about that. This session cannot deliver what you don't want to do. It's like going to the doctor. If the doctor prescribes physical therapy and medicine and you don't do the physical therapy and the medicine after leaving the doctor, you're not going to get better. I want you to grow. 
I'm committed to your journey. Remember my two goals are improve the control, put you in more control of your business and increase the value of the business. This is where we do this in this sacred space that is the annual. And I'm so looking forward to spending that time with you. I'm preparing. I want you to prepare as well so we can maximize our time together. Thanks. I'll see you soon.